Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Only today we are talking about Intergrade, which of course is the upcoming uh, update expansion for PS5. Recently, Square Enix shared some gameplay with us. Ordinarily, were the world not in a, uh, a predicament, we would have gone to an event and gone hands-on. However, given that we can't do that right now, they basically shared some gameplay with us. That shows off some cool stuff. We get to see some brand new combat. Of course, in Intergrade, you take on the role of Yuffie. You get to play in 60 FPS. You get to sort of experience this like ninja style combat and you also have Sonon who is of course alongside you to aid you in battle and you even have some of the sort of side activities like Fort Condor. So in this gameplay it basically gives us sort of a little snapshot, a few different cut together segments showing off some brand new gameplay. So I thought I would cut some of this together and just sort of uh, show you a few cool things, five cool things basically that uh, we got to see in this gameplay. This even includes a summon and uh, just some general fun combat stuff. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. If you are looking forward to this, let me know in the comments down below. But to begin with, of course, first things first is uh, just Yuffie's combat in general. She's a really cool looking character. She's adept at both close quarters and long range combat. You can of course use her throwing star to strike enemies up close, or you can hold down the input to basically put some distance between you and your target. You can also throw the star. I mean, it is a throwing star, kind of in the name, but this is also useful both in combat and outside. Whilst you're exploring the open world, you can use it to destroy objects from afar, you can use it to interact with switches and other things like that. So whilst you're exploring the levels, exploring the stages, you get to basically use this as well. By default, her attacks also carry no element, but you can then use the elemental ninjutsu, which will then basically imbue your attacks with the relevant affinity, things like ice, fire, lightning, or wind. And honestly, the animation for this is just super cool. She casts the elemental ninjutsu, these orbs appear around her, and of course, following that, you get all of the cool crazy effects when you're uh, dishing out your attacks. So yeah, that much is very awesome. And uh, here's a quick sample of some of her combat. Following on from there, moving on to number two, you also have synergy attacks with Sonon. Now, Sonon is different this time around. If any of you guys have played the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, you'll know you can control different characters. However, Sonon is not a controllable character. He's not someone you can switch to and actually take control of. Instead, you do issue commands. And on top of that, one thing that's cool is that, you know, while he does fight alongside you, you can also do special synergy attacks, which will basically see him team up with Yuffie to perform some, like, awesome high damage moves. A couple of examples of these are the Synergized Art of War, which will basically buff an enemy with blows. And then following this, all subsequent attacks will deal more damage. So you kind of got this sort of a debuff nature to it. You also have the Synergized Windstorm, which creates a gust of wind that damages all nearby enemies and then launches them towards you. So you can then kind of go from that into some aerial combat. Keep it up, huh? Of course, outside of combat, you do get to sort of get involved in some of the mini games. You'll still be exploring the world. You'll still be kind of doing all this different side quest stuff that you were used to, used to kind of experiencing from Final Fantasy VII Remake. And one of the things you get to do is take part in Fort Condor, which is a mini game that was originally inspired by Shinra's military campaigns. And it's a strategy game where two players deploy different units. And the aim is to conquer the opponent's base. You begin by selecting the board. This will then determine the number of ATB charges and materia available, along with the units that you want to deploy. You then use ATB charges to deploy your different units, and they will then march towards the opponent's base and automatically engage enemy units along the way. Units are then split into three roles. You have vanguards, ranged or defense, and of course each type is effective against different units. Materia can then also be used to cast powerful spells, but it is important to note that in this mini game, you can only use each material orb once per match, so you kind of want to use them as sort of a you know, game changing or sort of a turn the tide in battle strategic option. 
Of course, following on from there, in combat, some of the cool stuff, the uh, the limit breaks, you have Yuffie's limit break, which is Bloodbath, where she unleashes a flurry of blows that deal massive damage, and you have Solon's limit break, which is Dance of the Dragon, dealing a ton of blows with your stop. And then finally, to round things out, of course, one of the most spectacular things about Seven Remake in general was just seeing how cool the summons looked in all those kind of glorious visuals. And uh, one of the new summons we got to mess around with in this one, or we got to sort of check out, is of course Ramu. He is of course the uh, Lord of Living, capable of bending lightning to his will, and he has a couple of cool abilities. When you're, uh, you know, once you've cast it and he's sort of out and about, you can use the uh, Voltaic Lance, where he summons large Lance of Lightning that deals damage to nearby enemies for a short time. And then when, of course, he goes to leave and he performs his ultimate attack, that is Judgment Bolt, conjuring a powerful lightning storm that lays waste to all enemies on the battlefield. Is it cool if I bring a friend? So there you have it. That's a little look at some of the cool stuff we got to see in some of the new gameplay. Of course, we don't have too long to wait now to actually go hands on with this. So once the game does launch or once the expansion launches, do be sure to keep it locked because uh, much like we did for Final Fantasy VII Remake, we plan to make videos for this one. So if you don't want to miss those, make sure you stick around. But for the time being, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any more questions. Hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.